Hello everyone, this is Alec from Smoke Daddy Inc. Uh, today I'm going to be making a video to show you how to provision your Pelipro Patriot PID Wi-Fi controller to your local or home network. Uh, the process is kind of overwhelming at first, but you know after a few times of provisioning, it becomes more simple. So the first thing that we like to do is just go ahead and turn on our controller. Uh, I made a video already testing to make sure that all of our components are connected correctly. And when we enter standby, the standby fan should operate at 100% capacity. So I think here, you know, just in an effort to kind of help us out a little bit in terms of this noise, I'm gonna unplug the standby fan just for the time being, you know, so I can have you guys hear me a little bit better. So we're still in standby, even though the fan isn't running, I just went ahead and disconnected that from the controller. Uh, you can only provision your Wi-Fi in standby. So this is a feature that we implemented into the controller um, in the case that someone accidentally enters the settings screen during a cook, uh, that they can't manipulate their Wi-Fi settings uh, as to jeopardize the integrity of their cooking experience, right? So we're gonna go ahead and press the dial icon, the settings button. And as you can see, we've entered the Wi-Fi provisioning screen. Uh, hopefully you can see this a little bit. Um, I know that there's some glare and refresh on the screen, but as long as you follow my directions, you know, closely, you'll, you'll be fine. So on your Patriot controller, you see the low and feed buttons have little arrows on the top and the bottom. You know, this is ind indicative of a directional pad. So you can use these guys to navigate in your Wi-Fi provisioning menu to reprovision. You see there's a little carrot that can indicate exactly where you're at in the menu. It makes make sure that we're at reprovision. And then we're gonna press the increment button and we're in now Wi-Fi provisioning. So let's give that a second to load. It may take a few seconds but as we can see, it provides us a little bit of instruction that says, please connect mobile device to SSID smoke daddy dash A F nine. Now this is where we're gonna wanna go onto our mobile device to start the Wi-Fi provisioning process. Some people get confused about this instruction. It says, please connect your mobile device. That's referring to either your tablet or your smartphone, whatever you may be connecting your grill to. So we're gonna go ahead and access the settings on our phone and network and internet under Wi-Fi. Uh, if it's not there, you can go ahead and just refresh and I see it right here, Smoke Daddy AF9. And the password to access this, I believe is just password with a capital P. Okay, so we are officially connected. Okay, so now that we are connected, we can navigate to our mobile application. All right, and we're gonna want to click on provision a grill. This is where you're going to direct your Pellet Pro Patriot controller in the direction of your home Wi-Fi. So the SSID should appear on this screen here. If it doesn't, you can press rescan or you can enter your information manually. And in this case, I see my Wi-Fi, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. And you're gonna to wanna to enter your password for your Wi-Fi. In this case, it is longer than eight characters. So once you enter your password, you should see on your screen something along the lines of sending provisioning data. And 
If it's sent correctly, your grill is going to go through this little bit of the screen here that shows you that it received it. Currently the screen says Wi-Fi connecting. I'll give that a minute. Okay, so it says Wi-Fi provisioning completed successfully. And then you can just return to the normal screen like that and then press the gear icon one more time and you should see your information here. Your SSID, your password, if you're connected, and the IP. So, let's go back to the phone here. This IP address is the IP address that you'd like to enter into your mobile application. Now at this time, unfortunately, it does not save the IP address that is displayed on your controller. Uh, in a future version, we are going to implement that. So once you have that entered, you can just press connect, connecting to Pelipro, and you can see that we are connected and all the information about our grill is here on our phone. We can press the dial icon one more time to return to standby. And we can see that the information of grill temperature here is consistent with the grill temperature here. Okay, everyone, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions about the process of Wi-Fi provisioning, you know, please go ahead and leave some comments or consult the instructions that came with your controller. Thank you very much.